Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Retail Is, the Retail Alliance podcast. I'm uh, Carly Ross Seibert from Retail Alliance, and I'm here with Joey Morgan, who is also working with me at Retail Alliance. Today, our guest is Jennifer Harris from Cottage Lunacy in Virginia Beach. Welcome, Jennifer. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So, yeah, good morning. Thank you for joining us. We have got, got Jennifer here today. Um, as you can see, we're all in our homes, it seems, um, because we are away from our workplaces. So we thought we'd invite Jennifer here to share her thoughts on uh, the closure and the pandemic and how it's affecting her business and so on. But I'd like to get Jennifer to just sort of share with us what her business is and, and where she's located and, and just give a bit of info about what she sells. Well, we are a gift and home decor shop at Red Mill Shopping Center. And we provide a happy place for people to come create art and re for recycle furniture. Um, we host over 60 local artisans and crafters. Um, so most of them are struggling as well now because uh, some of them are single parents. One is a special needs child. Some are retired people. I just found out one of my retired artist is doing DoorDash to try to make ends meet before, you know, while he's not selling his stuff. Um, and we do workshops also, which we can't do right now because of the six feet thing. So you can't, we usually you can come and paint, have a paint party or um, some sort of workshop from one of our artisans. Well, have you, um, I mean, before we get too into it, have you done anything online with the workshops? No, I, I am trying to piece together a video while I'm painting these bunk beds here at my house. Oh, okay. Uh, it'll be a start to finish, you know, in a sped up version. So I'm working on that. I've learned a lot of things that I should have already had in place before this happened. So I'm getting my ducks in a row now. So should there be a relapse or whatever they're talking about, at least I'll have everything in place. Very smart. So when did you um, close your store? We closed um, the week of March 15th, whatever that Tuesday was. We were open Sunday and Monday. Uh, the thing with us being open was we had to protect who we live with because at the time my dad was living with me. Uh, he, he's 82 or he was 82. He passed away last week actually. Oh. And um, thank you. Um, but one of my workers, Cindy, she's retired and her husband is almost 70. Carissa lives with her, her grandmother and she cares for her great grandmother. And then Adriana lives with an immunocompromised uh, parent also. So everybody, we all felt like we had to protect ourselves to help our, to protect our families. Right. So how many staff do you have? You, you named a couple of people. I have three part-time workers. Okay. And, and what are they, how are they coping? Well, fortunately, I had been watching the updates from the governor and, and all of the um, uh, SBA things that were going out. And so as soon as we decided, we, we all decided mutually to close. So I told them, you all need to apply right now for the unemployment. So they did. So luckily, they have been getting paid. Oh, and they're cool. probably, if they're getting that extra 600, I haven't asked, but if they're getting that, they're making out better at home than they would have been working. <laughs> I'm sure they are now. That's, that's, that's great. You got him in there be. so early. Well, you I knew I had up. Um, unemployment in the past as a nurse <clears throat> when we had a riff like way back in the eighties. So I knew that it takes a while to, to get into place. So that's why I said, do it right now. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, I, I've read some stories of that uh, some people, I mean, they're getting paid more than they would at their jobs, that, you know, they feel like they may not go back to work <laughs> because they're going to be better off on unemployment. How is the relationship that you have with your part-time workers? <laughs> well, it is also their happy place, and they are all very uh, talented crafters and artists as well. So they are anxious to get back because they miss it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It sounds like you've got a good team there. I do. So, I'm very blessed. Yeah. So how are you, I mean, have you seen any customers or have you had contact with them at all? Yes, I have. Well, I have my phone number, my cell phone number on my front door, actually. So I had one of my regular customers call 
because she had seen stuff through the window she wanted. So I met her over there. Um, I've had people message me that had their eyes on things before we closed. So like for gifts. Mm -hmm. So they messaged me and I met them over there so they could pick that up. Have you um, done anything with uh, any online sales or just taking pictures of what you have in the inventory and putting it on Facebook? Have you tried any of that yet? Yes, I do have some on my Facebook page posted and I opened a Shopify, but all of that um, like website stuff, that is just so out of my wheelhouse that I spent like two or three days trying to build that. So I've recently handed that over to my marketing person to merge my website with my Shopify so everything will be streamlined. And um, like I said, that's one of my lessons I learned I should have had in place ahead of time. So oh, better late than never. I mean, when do you think that that's going to be ready? Um, we just had our first meeting about it this, this past week. So hopefully in a week or two. Yeah. Are you hoping that uh, things will reopen or how do you, how do you expect this to sort of roll out in the next few weeks? Well, I've toyed with the idea of opening for a few hours a day. I know uh, creative wedge is doing that. They're doing like noon to four. But she expressed that um, some people are coming in and saying, why are you open? So um, I don't know. I, I've toyed with doing that starting next week. But then after I had the think tank with Retail Alliance earlier this week also, and we, you have to make sure, probably legally, that we have things in place like the hand sanitizer, mm -hmm. I already had been wiping off like the keypad for the credit card machine and, and the countertops in between customers. And I, um, funny part was, <clears throat> sorry, because of my nursing background, when flu season started, I already had the Lysol because I would tell my girls, if anybody comes in here coughing or sneezing, as soon as they leave, you spray. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we were already doing some of those things, but the hand sanitizer with the shortage of it, I, I have to make sure I have enough and I'll have to um, tape off the, the six feet from the checkout in case I have uh, more than one checkout person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of those guidelines will come out from the state very shortly um, about reopening. So that should help as well. But yeah, it sounds like, you know, you've got a couple people can come call you on the cell, come into the store. And mm -hmm. yeah, but, but in terms of those who aren't visiting the store and may not go to your website, are you doing any sort of marketing or email contact at all with them? I'm actually about to send an email. I'm hoping to get it done today so it can go out at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning um, or Saturday morning. Uh, just letting them know because some of my customers are not on Facebook or Instagram because mm -hmm. my demographics um, are a little older than that. Some of my people. So I'm going to send an email saying that we are like only 98% closed. You can still shop if you need a gift. Plus with mother's day coming, oh, yeah. um, I want to know that we do have gifts and they can have their own private shopping experience if they want to just come in by themselves. And I'm, I'm going to offer that. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, by appointment, just they mm -hmm. secure and knowing that they'll be the only one in the store besides probably you. Right. That's a good, that's a good idea. I like that one. And I think that that's going to happen to a lot of stores, just making that reassurance to customers that you got everything, you know, clean and safe and, the, you know, signs up and, you know, Lysol everywhere, <laughs> and, you know, right. less than 10 people, even you know, one on one, that sort of thing. I think it's going to be important even when things reopen, I don't think it's going to just be, you know, the, the same as it was. Unfortunately. Oh, no. <laughs> I agree. We'll probably be wiping stuff down from here on out forever. I think people's habits are going to change a lot. Yeah. So, what up? sorry, Joey. Keep going. Uh, what, what would you say as far as on the topic of change, what do you think you're going to change the most coming out of this? Um, will it be you having that online presence? Are you going to keep that after uh, things sort of clear up a little bit more? Yes, I am going to keep that um, online. I feel like uh, it'll be a good, I think people are wanting to shop local to support. So if I have that, some of my friends that don't live locally, they can uh, shop online. I feel like um, even people around here, especially if they're talking about um, the, the resurgence of this, 
and we have to go back to on lockdown or quarantine, then I, I'll already have all those in place. Yeah, that'd be great for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I also am going to put together some little DIY kits. That was an afterthought as well, you know, because you got to have the little containers for the paint. But people can can um, order just a whole kit and make something at home instead of coming into the workshop. Yeah, people are. It'd be great if you could offer those kits and then um, maybe do a Zoom meeting or something where you sort of, they follow you along as you make it. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Well. I don't know if you know Brenda from the Royal Chocolate, but uh, she actually did a Facebook Live that I saw yesterday, but she may have done it prior. But they, they used to have a workshop, just like oh, you had, on making chocolate bars. <sighs> and um, she put together now a like a delivery or pick up little kit with the chocolate and all the little things and little packet that they, you know, you can design your own label. And so it's a great little gift for Mother's Day. So she did a, a walkthrough of that of how to make it. So I thought that that was a very good idea and a, way, a great way to adapt something that, you know, was an income earner for her. Um, mm -hmm. Having people in the store, now she can still continue, but just in another way. Yeah. So I think it's a good idea if you can do something like a DIY, I'd be, you know, I mean, I've come and done something at your store, which I loved being there, but I would love to be able to do that with my child at home as well, because obviously, you know, school's out for a while. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Everybody's at home. <laughs> exactly. That's right. mm. Oh, that's awesome. So I know you, you were saying you've got, well, how many um, artists have you actually uh, supplied to your store? We have between 60 and 70. So how is this impacting them? I mean, if you're not mm. selling as much inventory, are, you, are they also struggling? Like yes. are you hearing their stories? What, what's happening there? Well, because some of my artists are, are only in my store and some are in a couple of different shops. Um, I think probably the only ones that are surviving are the ones that are taking their, their crafts over to these markets. Hmm. But like I said, one of my retired guys, that's, he's my main, one of my, he's probably 10% of my sales. Um, he is doing DoorDash right now. Wow. Have you... Uh, are they eligible for unemployment as far as the self-employed kind of thing or gig work going? Have you heard anything about that? They might be under the self-employed, but I can tell you from experience, I've put in for that myself and I, it's like everything goes into a black hole. Um, yeah, my fiance is uh, going through that and we're just now starting to see some uh, progress on the whole process. Yeah, so... I don't know. I don't know if they've put in for that. If they thought of that, I'm not sure. I do know that they have updated everything recently. So if they're, if anybody is interested in doing it, now's the time to check it out. They actually have the systems in place. We applied for her back in when this all started and it was nothing. There was nothing in place to help anybody self-employed, but now they have a whole new website and portal for it. So maybe send some people that way. I and will. About, I was going to say, how about yourself? Like, are you applying for the PPP or some sort of financial help for you and your business? I, I mean, did put in, and when it all first came out with the SBA, I put in for the EDIL or whatever yeah, that yeah. was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I did get the bonus, but, you know, they changed the bonus. First, they said it was going to be 10000 for every small business, and then they made it 1000 per employee. So I did get that bonus. Um, I have not heard anything about the loan. And since my girls were already doing the unemployment, I didn't do the PPP. Uh, my landlord has worked out um, delayed rent for us. So um, I'm, I won't get evicted. That's um, great. <coughs> Sorry, that's my dog. I must have a visitor. Let me just put myself on mute for a moment. <laughs> it's not a Zoom meeting if there's not a dog barking. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so, so you don't have to worry about the eviction. So that's good. That's really good. <laughs> and my employees are getting paid with their unemployment. So they're probably making out better than if I did the PPP. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. At least it's something. Um, but right. uh, so, I mean, what is happening? I know that you're in a shopping center um, yeah. with other big boxes and so on. What's happening around the, the Red Mill area? Because you've got a combination of stores. 
Right. Um, I'm right next door to Bath and Body Works, and they actually corporately closed the same week we did. Um, Hallmark, I've spoken with him, and he is closed to the public, but they're selling a lot of their cards online. So he's, he's there, but he's mailing stuff out. Mostly, he said sympathy and birthday cards. But what he was talking about is going on is once he's out of cards of his, of his inventory, he doesn't have a way to get more because the factories and warehouses had closed down and aren't delivering. Oh, wow. So that's going to be an issue. Most of my, since most of mine is local, I won't have that issue. But a lot of the commercial products, the restock is going to be probably sparse for some people. And that's why we say support local. <laughs> right. Yeah. I know. And I know uh, Coastal Edge, they, are, they were still open. I, I think they're still open. Um, and they are actually relocating back because, you know, they switched spots with Dollar Tree. So they, yes. I saw the floor people laying their new floors in their, where they're getting ready to move back over by me. Um, so, but I know they're still open. And then yeah. Lola Boutique, um, she was open for a while, but I believe she's closed now. She looked closed last time I rode over there. And you've got hair cuttery, I think, over there too. Mm -hmm. All of the hair salons are closed. Yeah, they're all gone, yeah. So, I mean, do you feel that at this point you're planning to reopen? Oh, yes. Okay. I'm not giving up. Yeah. Okay, so how do, you see, how do you see the next six months going for your business and for you? Well, I'm going to hope for the best and plan for the worst. Mm -hmm. um, I, was, I had already paid to be in those um, books that go out to all the weekly renters for Sandbridge, um, all of those, uh, those real estate companies, Sandbridge, Seabert, and um, Beach Pros, as well as all the owners at Sandbridge. They get these books that the people, the owners keep it in the house, and then the renters get a copy of it when they check in every week. So... Um, and my, my marketing was to come paint your own souvenir or come make your own souvenir. Right. So I'm hoping that if we open, we're open in time to still um, get the tourist. And um, then it'll be holiday time again. And I, I do hope that the, I mean, Virginia Beach especially is such a big tourist destination. I really hope that it's not badly impacted by this because a lot of the local businesses rely on you know, that traffic. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh, was there anything else that you wanted to, to share with us? Uh, this has just really been an, an eye-opening learning experience. Mm -hmm. um, I, I realized for myself that I need to have more than one avenue st uh, stream of revenue. Um, like I can't just depend on the store. So, uh, I need to probably post more things to Etsy, put some of our signs and stuff on Etsy. And then hopefully with the Shopify site, we'll be able to help market everybody else's art as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, just keep things flowing. Yes. Well, we will definitely be supporting you whenever yeah. we can. Thank you. It sounds like you're definitely learning the right lessons from this. So that's a really positive. I mean, when something like this happens, it's the people who are going to learn and adapt that are going to be the ones to survive it. Thank you. Yeah. That I've learned. Oh gosh. You, and the, what you were saying about the videos too, the DIY videos, I need to have more of those because you can't just do one in a day, you know, it takes no. time. So I should have, I should have already had that in place as well. well talk to Cheryl if you need some uh, advice on those. Well, I've learned a lot about video too, doing the, talking with Cheryl and doing the retail Alliance things. Well, I'll volunteer anytime you want me to come and do paint a piece of art, you know, at a workshop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not to help. <laughs> thank well, you. Thank you, Jennifer, for joining us today. Yes. Well, thank you for having me. All right. Well, we'll thank sign you. off now. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.